Yo, yo, people, Gertrude here for another video. This video is going to be in the Farming Simulator 19, and today we are going to be going camping. We got Bolt YT, CJ, Ian Games, and the one and only Spencer TV with us here. Should be lots of fun. We're going to be taking this Overkill F550 and loading up this UTV onto it. Now, this UTV does not have any branding on it, so I'm not going to refer to it as a Mahindra or anything like that but let's get out our ramps we can lower it down our tailgate there we go and okay it looks like Spencer's testing out the suspension on that or I don't really know what he's doing oh you know what maybe he's just trying to ramp it in kind of cool but let's go ahead start this bad boy up so we can load it into our trailer yeah we have ramps I don't know why Spencer didn't grab ramps for his vehicle but here we go. I guess, I guess, guys, we just have a better setup than he does. That might, that might just be the case. <laughs> but here we go. Okay. Nice and slow. Do not want to scratch the paint or anything. And we look to be good. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and fold up those ramps. There we go. They just kind of teleport through. We can raise up this uh, back tailgate. And put down some straps as you can see the vehicle does strap uh, it's made by iconic upgrades by the way for anyone who was wondering uh, yeah so there we go that's my new f this is 2020 f350 platinum tremor so nice that thing is clean i like it yeah super clean i have really nice aggressive mudding tires on there so i'm, I'm excited hopefully hopefully the roads are a little sloppy yep i got the 3500 with me today it's a good truck yeah, no, everybody, I think, CJ, you'll probably get stuck first, right? Uh, yes. I think you're going to get first, Spencer. Look at that tiny little truck there. Tiny little, don't even man, have a trailer. this is, this is board Tremor. Trailer on it. it oh, look that's why I don't get, yeah, I don't yeah. Ever get stuck. Looks like your trailer is about to break. <laughs> I, no, no, it's very safe. It's been tested. Hey, it, huh. by who? I think Wild Bill tested that thing. Yeah, Wild yeah, Bill <laughs> engineered this. Definitely. Yeah. You're just using one uh, one axle here? You got well, three yeah. axles, but you're one just using one. One axle's all that's needed. The, the other two are just for oh, decoration. Yeah. That's how you do it in 2020. You only need... That's how you do it yeah. in 2020. You only need your back axle. I got you. It's like a, it's like a style thing. Yes, exactly. You. So that's bolt set up down there. This is Ian's, CJ's, and then Garrett. Was that your... Yeah, if you come over pick... here... Oh, let me pull out six of the way. Six by six? There we go. Oh, yeah. You already know we got the Dude, overkill. Chaz got one just like this, man. No gold, way. Baby. Actually, that's awesome. It's all gold, yeah. Ooh, okay. He might have one up to me there then. <laughs> in the shop, right, Spencer? I think I up one I up you. Good, Garrett. Yeah, Garrett. I think Helga broke that thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so maybe you could. Is this, this is a good wife hauler, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then what do you got in here? A Mahindra? I was, actually, there's no brand on it. I don't know. I don't know why. So I'm just calling it the UTV for now. There you but, go. Uh, yeah, no. Hopefully it runs good. I got it in a garage sale, actually, weirdly enough. So well, there you go. Someone was just getting rid of it. I was like, all right. <laughs> Looks cool. And then this is Bolt over here with the crazy six. How many people can you fit in here, Bolt? Way too many. Oh. One, let's say you can fit three in the front, four, four. I would say you can fit. 12 people? Yeah, like 12. Three in the front. Probably could hide some in the back, too, for being honest. Yeah. <laughs> Make it gold, you got a goddamn good American truck. <laughs> Ciao. That would be true. That would be true. So I'm th who's going to get stuck first? Oh, I think it's going to be you, Spencer. I'm, I, no, I don't think it's me. I think it's, I think it's Ian, probably. I have a heavy probably load. Ian. You know, the oh. rain's got a big Cummins in it. We'll see. We'll see how it does. I know. It's just... But like, he does yeah, have yeah, dueleys. Yeah. We'll well, yeah, he got dueleys on the back. Flatbed, I took a flatbed 40-foot gooseneck and just uh -huh. chopped off a camper and set it on the front, baby. And that's no, how you this do is, it. This that's is some sweet. redneck I'm... stuff right there. <laughs> that is redneck. I, oh, my goodness. I could see that at, like, a mud and hole or something with a bunch <laughs> of down south. But my plan is I'm going to I'm gonna sleep outside probably. Did everybody bring their chainsaws too? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, guys. So it looks like we are now moving there we go. Spencer's saying that he's not going to get stuck, but I don't know. I, I feel like he might be wrong about that. We'll, we'll let Ian go ahead. There we go. Perfect. We'll just follow closely behind. I think, honestly, we have the best chance of getting through this in one 
one go, uh, just because we don't have a trailer, right? And it kind of gives us that advantage. Plus, we also have our six wheels, uh, and we're well off the ground with more than enough power on this thing. Here we go. I love driving in convoys uh, in this game. It's just, I don't know, something about it. Uh, honestly, any game in general, I just love being in this giant convoy kind of layout. There we go. All right, so we've got a pretty unique bridge right here. I'm a little bit scared, but you know what? They all made it across. We have a lighter load. Should be all good. Honestly, if Ian gets through everything, then we'll be able to. <laughs> Uh, maybe we should have actually went in front of him now that I think about it. Oh, okay So seems like bolts having some trouble driving there. I don't know if it was something that happened at the front of line or not well, There we go And let's just follow this road. I love this interior guys. Like look at this the red accents We have some carbon fiber along the trims there Very cool. I honestly wish I had a little bit more carbon fiber just cuz I like the way it looks, um, but it's pretty cool nevertheless. And so guys, I hope when we go camping we can cut down some trees. Uh, that's why I brought the UTV. It does have the storage in the back so we can have some little logs in there to start a campfire. And then besides for that, we'll just probably pop up a tent tonight when it comes to sleeping. Or maybe we can find someone to snuggle with. Who knows? <laughs> Join Lambomod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. There we go. Looks like we're held up again. I don't know if someone got stuck or what the case is. CJ, are you guys oh, stuck? We or? missed our turn. We need to yeah. turn here. Oh, oh we need everyone we to back up. Everyone needs to back up. up. This is our this turn. Way. Here, better idea, a little more efficient. Maybe CJ, you pull forward, and then everybody comes in, and then when there everybody's through. There's no way you turn around, so you know. No, yeah, he just needs boys, to back up. Making it. Oh, yeah. Ian, uh... Oh, I'm stuck, boys. Oh, yeah, I would have done that. Idea. You're stuck. I gotta back out. Oh, Ian. No, I'm good. Maybe I'm good, yeah. everybody who can't make the turn pull forward and then back up. I'll make the turn. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, we are turning this bad boy around. I did get all the wheels moving. So that's very, very cool. I'm going to let Spencer actually get on by. He can figure out whatever's going on there. So, yeah, I don't know if the turn's where Ian is or if it's this one or what exactly is happening. It looks like it's going to be where Ian is. So that's perfect. Here we go. We are literally turning on a dime. Look at that. Perfect. And we'll go back to just our front wheel steering. Should be pretty cool. Yeah, Ian is definitely... Definitely going to be the one to get stuck here. Just because this trailer is so close to the ground. Uh, now, something to note, though, is we are on a pretty thin road. Uh, just based off how big some of these guys' loads are. So, might run into another issue there. But hopefully no one goes off the cliff. Now, I do have a winch on this vehicle, if needed. But, again, hopefully, hopefully we won't actually have to use that. Now, Spencer's load is scaring me. Because he has his tailgate down, and uh, yeah, we're just kind of relying on his straps so that thing doesn't come back and just take us out. <laughs> Almost at the top. I'm, I'm hoping it's not too much further. It's going to be a pain to get down. All right, it looks like Spencer's headed back down the hill. I don't know if the other guys are stuck or where he's going exactly, but we are going to be all good here. If they need help, we will obviously head on down too, but... Hopefully they can handle it themselves. Yeah, this should be great for hauling or for just transporting like the little logs that we need for the campfire. All right, who's that? Oh, we got Bolt up there. I didn't even see him come up the hill. All right, it looks like Spencer is back. I think we have everyone here now. I, I could be... Wait, where is... I think we're just missing CJ right now. See, is, is he coming? I really don't know what happened to CJ. Okay, we got Bolt there. That's Spencer's, right? And then there's the actual man himself. And Ian, that uh, Ford Raptor is his as well. And then us. Yeah, so j just CJ's left. All right, guys, I see CJ's name. There he is. He took so long to get here. Definitely is not jabbing. Oh, look what is happening. 
All right, now now we see why he took so long. His truck and going uphill with that, it just does not work. Maybe those axles should have been on the ground. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Oh my. Okay, okay. I'm going to I'm going to stay clear of this man. He's a crazy driver. Were you just popping a wheelie the whole entire way? Uh most of the way, and then my uh axle broke. I had to fix it with some duct tape. There you go. <laughs> some duct tape. Carolina. Of course, oh, the trailer was... axle or your truck axle? The, the trailer axle. Okay. The, the one, well, the one the axle? One the ones that were in the air right now? I uh, know, it's the back one. Oh. Oh, the only <laughs> one that you were actually using? <laughs> exactly. exactly. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, boys, well, we probably should get any. Everyone's got like a little razor, right? Or some kind of vehicle. Oh, yeah. Should we set up camp, get some uh, firewood? Yeah, we can, everybody brought, brought a chainsaw. One thing I was thinking, are you guys camping? I know everybody brought the camper, so. I'm going to camp in my camper. I didn't. I was just, well, I brought, maybe my fifth by sets. I brought um, an outdoor sleeping bag, so I was just going to sleep, like, straight up next to the campfire. I thought I was uh, cuddling with you tonight. Cuddling with me? Garrett, we've it, talked about this, man. Is, is, oh, it, is it not like a queen-size sleeping bag, or? These guys are crazy poles. No. You could. You could no. You could stay in my. Not with me. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll sleep. I'll sleep in my sleeping bag. Let's get some firewood. We'll talk about it later. And then, okay, cool. CJ's getting unloaded. Yeah, just let's get a bunch of firewood. Who can use it? I can. I can hold some wood and like strap it down if needed. Okay. And then, did you guys see? We're gonna have to look for a dead tree, most likely. All right, they're all in front of us. We're just gonna be following from behind. Uh, I don't know. I just. In case any of them aren't the best drivers, I'm a little bit concerned with CJ's driving. As you guys saw, he was doing some wheelies and, I don't know, he duct taped his truck axle. Who even knows what he has going for his um, four-wheeler here. There we go. Is this even called a four-wheeler, what he's driving? Honestly, not quite sure. I think it's just like a razor. Ooh, Spence, Spence is going up the side of the hill. There we go. Did you guys find a dead one? I think there's a dead one up back here. We got to go in a little bit, though. Okay. Sounds good. We got the capability oh. to do so. <laughs> That's true. How far in? Can I just walk it, or? I'd bring your vehicle, probably. It's a little ways. Okay. There we go. Don't want to leave them behind. All right. We're headed up. Now, I don't know which tree they were talking about. I honestly didn't see anything. Oh, nice. This is the dead one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't do I think a... it's a little big here. It's... I think it's a little big, but it's dead. <laughs> and who knows? It could have a disease or something. We want to make sure we get it out of the... Yeah. It's steep. It's I'm steep. Gonna, Let's... I'm going to move my Polaris back. I don't want it to... Uh, yeah, definitely get... want to move yeah, it. Either go back to the road, or there's the road's right up here, too. Yeah, I'm just going to go down, back down. It's not a far walk. Okay. Oh, there's one, like, up top? Yep. Just, if you just go just up top. Right. Right. You put a winch on your truck. You could probably bring your truck down here and winch you out of here. I got a winch. Yeah, cause it's just too steep. Yeah, let me go get my tremor and then does anybody have a winch? Okay, the razor's not gonna do it. I'm gonna go get my tremor. I'm gonna come up on the road and then give you guys the winch and so you guys cut it and then I can drag it up to the road. Got Sounds it. good. Are you and sure can... you have the power to do that? <laughs> I got the power, man. I got a Ford. Make sure, make sure to have it on the base of the tree, probably right, right where you cut it and. It's yep. tough. I'm there get ready go. to. I guess you guys don't think you'll pull the truck in, will you? I no, don't sure. think so. How heavy mm. is your truck? It's uh, it's three quarter ton. So. All right, should be good. It should be. Should should be good. <laughs> I hope. You have a quick mm. release on the winch, right? If needed. Yes, I do. Okay, yep. perfect. That's that's something that I bought with it for. For a lot of reasons, but something like this, yeah, that's important. Yeah, definitely good to have. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll stand back. <laughs> All right, it's connected. Perfect, there we go. timber! It's it actually fell. Actually, we can just hold, have the wind hold it while we cut it. Yeah, but then but, we're going to be yeah, messing around on the side hill. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm going to say let's idea. pull it up. The only thing, we might get caught up on these trees, but if we can, we can, we can shift get it. The, the base... Up yeah, here, cut down these in between, yeah, yeah, cut the branches, it'll slide better. It um, might be a better idea to winch it up here so we can just pull it straight up versus like around these trees. You're saying reconnect the winch and remove yeah, reconnect the... the winch right here and move the truck right up top. Okay, here. I'll disconnect it and then 
Okay. You guys don't think it's gonna slide at all? I don't think so, no. Yeah. I want you to a little closer to the top there, Garrett. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, yeah probably like here. as high as possible. I don't want to be too that. thin. That's good. That's yeah, good. should be good. Okay. All right, winter up. Yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull back. Okay. See how she does. I'm spinning it, a little bit. It's moving. All right, there we go, guys. Does everything look good? Is it getting snagged up on? Yep, Looks to be pulling. all good. There we go. Okay, go. I'm gonna pull and winch at the same time. Yeah, Perfect. make sure it doesn't go through your windshield. Yeah. Take it slow. Nice. All right. Well, uh, should we start cutting it into the logs? It, it, it's about to roll on. Yeah, it's right. rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold, it, hold it, hold it. Push. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come put my tire on it. All right. There you go. Told you, boys. This trimmer, it's a good pickup. Yeah. What other truck you, could you do that with, man? You know, I think my overkill could, but wouldn't be as easy to drive around. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's not as nimble. All right, I'm gonna hop on in here. Turn this bad boy on. There we go. And we will back it on up. We'll just park, uh, go a little bit higher than Bolt did. As long as we can get by here. There we go. Perfect. And I think that should be pretty good. Can lower this down. Awesome. Okay. So let's start picking these up. Just like so. Now we can only load so many. But yeah, this we'll be able to stack some on. Alright. We look to be all good guys. So let's get moving here. Perfect. Yeah, we only managed to get three of them in this vehicle. Now CJ did have to go. So he won't be with us. Um but yeah, thank you to him for coming. Did appreciate it. Alright guys, you wanna get, we'll get this unloaded and then start splitting a little bit and it's getting a bit later in the evening. Yeah, we definitely gotta oh. figure out dinner. I wanna get this fire going. Do you bring any food? Oh yeah. Go. We got our hot dogs. Luncheon or no? I saw some deer back didn't there. Didn't bring anything. Have <laughs> some venison for dinner. There you go. Yeah, I brought I brought some uh, I think it's still frozen, but we can thaw it out. I brought some frozen steaks and then a few burgers too so Ooh, nice perfect yeah does anyone have ketchup i i forgot that I, my ball. wife packed all the goodies i got like this picnic like whole got thing a1. that has everything with it Ooh, yeah a1 fancy yeah yeah dang it. okay well uh let's get our fire going yeah let's get this unloaded here is everybody full oh yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. i'm stuffed uh, does, does anybody get a toilet in their rv no you're not using mine, I'll tell you that. I don't got Go one. jump in CJ's. Yeah. Okay, CJ's. Okay, I'll use that. But, um, yeah, I'm ready for... I'm getting tired, man. I'm ready for bed. It's, it's 10.30. Usually bedtime for me is about 9 on the weekdays. You yeah. guys tired? Ready to go to yeah. bed? Oh, yeah. Probably hit the hay. Tomorrow yeah. we got a lot of riding ahead of us, boys. All right, I'm gonna... I'm probably just gonna sleep in my tremor. All right. All right. Night, yeah, guys. it's a platinum. Good night. See ya. Right. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Try not to. Uh, Alright guys, we have it now slept through the night. It is the morning. As you guys can see, it is just about hit 7 a.m. here. I honestly didn't get the best night's sleep. Um, Should have probably planned for it a bit better, but I ended up just folding down these seats and sleeping in the back over there. It worked pretty good. But, yeah, I wish I brought another pillow. It definitely could have been a bit more enjoyable. But, yeah, at least we had some kind of enclosure to sleep in. I'm assuming the rest of them did the same, besides for the guys who had the RVs. Uh, but, yeah, so let's see what's going on. Yeah, we got breakfast over here. Ooh, can I have some? Is there enough? We got greens, beans, tomatoes, tomatoes. Ooh, all right. It's good stuff, man. It's good. You got your lambs as well? We got lambs, turkey. Ham. Turkey, yeah. Ham. There we go. Yeah, I packed that fridge, boys. I'll come and empty. There we go. So, um, um, do you guys want to, do you guys want to go ride now? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Definitely down. Cool. All right, guys, we are moving. Here we go. Now, unfortunately, we are stuck with the Mahindra, or the UTV, but it should still be able to trek through these trails. Shouldn't be too bad. Here we go. Perfect. I'm actually going to do some first-person action. I am a little bit worried about flipping here. 
Uh, that is one thing that this UTV is very good at. But hopefully that won't happen, obviously. Alrighty, so Ian is in front of us. I'm thinking of heading off road. Let's see. Okay, definitely not there. That is a little bit too steep for us. Let's keep on moving through these trails. Oh my. Perfect, okay. Um, oh, it's steep here again. Maybe this wasn't the best spot. Like, I am very worried about us tipping. We are quite light. Now, we don't have anything in our back, so at least our weight's evenly uh, distributed, but, or not evenly, but it's a bit closer than it would be if we had logs back there or any kind of equipment. All right, here we are, though. Let's keep on going. I think I fit, found the trick. We do got to ride up the hill occasionally. It's not too bad. Uh, we are a bit heavier than I was initially expecting, so that's good to see. And, okay, yeah, let's just keep on trying to get through this. I don't know what will be led to. Hopefully, we can just go up the hill if needed. But if not, then we can backtrack. There we are. Okay, more first person action. Look, look at this. Does this make you sick when we're like this much on an angle? <laughs> okay, here we go. Keep on moving through. Ooh, this is what I'm talking about. That's the perfect landscape. There we go. Keep on moving. And, all right, all right. Our wheels are gripping quite nicely. This is a very bumpy area. Let's see how it looks in a third person view. Ooh, that was a bit scary. Oh my, our suspension is being absolutely destroyed here. But we are getting through. You know what, I'm actually gonna turn on my beacon just in case we get in an accident or something happens. Um, it will make it easier for someone to find us, just for safety. Go up this way. Hopefully the road is uh, up ahead. Not quite sure though. We did travel quite far. Didn't really realize how far we actually went. Honestly, I have no clue where we are. Let's check out the map. Oh my, we are so far off. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go back to the campsite and we'll just wrap things up. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please drop a like and consider subscribing. Also, check out our Discord server. Link for that is down below. Have a great day. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.